Well, there's the unboxing. It took like a milli nanosecond. It was so fast you didn't even see me do it. That's that's good right there. You ever see people unboxing and they like take some like hour and a half just to slice open the outer, you know, packaging from the post office and then they get the box and then they sit there and talk like this, like I'm doing now, pissing you off. Get the knife out. Okay, so now I probably mix the knives up, right? This one is the Tranchadon. And <laughs> so this one's the Tor Tank. And this one's the Tranchadon <sighs> by Shielden. Shielden knives, okay? Oh, actually. Do you know that they also do OEM work? So, I mean, I was, when I was in Atlanta, I was talking to somebody, and I don't know if it was Lefty EDC or somebody who was having a knife made, and Shielden was the OEM. So, um, but I, I can't remember exactly who it was. But yeah, uh, so they do that as well. Now, Stephen at Shielden Knives is my contact, and he um, he used to work. At Kaiser. Um, it's kind of like the guy that owns CH Knives. He used to be at Kaiser. I mean, and then of course, Joyce and some of the others that went over to Cancept used to be at Kaiser, etc. So, okay. So it, it people move around, right? People move around. So I thought this is interesting, Shielding. What are you gonna do, boys? You know, what are you gonna where are you gonna try and be in the marketplace? Or what are you working on? This and that. So this is that Django guy that's their designer. Do they have his name on here? Yeah. J oh, I make the D silent, I think. But like these knives here, I'm going to give you a discount code. 20% off, okay? Amazon discount code, 20% off. So you can get a discount on these knives and try them out yourself if you want, okay? I mean, if there's something you find attractive. I like this. Okay, I think this is cool because I've seen this mix of carbon fiber G10. It's not like a laminate, like, you know, you get carbon fiber on the top and then it's all G10 underneath. Not that way. This is that kind of mixed media thing that's machined. And these are contoured, you know, scales. And I kind of like the way they did this surround thing, too. That's interesting. But, okay, shield and knives. So these particular ones, and I, I think sometimes the Chinese get a little bit too convinced that, that buyers love Damascus. And if you talk to people who are not knowledgeable knife people, they think that Damascus, because they've seen it on some program or something, Damascus et al. is like the superior steel because of the way it was made in the back in the you know Middle Ages or previous to the Middle Ages, whatever. Okay. But this itself is a VG10 core. And let me see if I can yeah, see. You can see here, there's a VG10 core, and then there's 33 layers of 9CR18 on each side. So VG10, pretty high chromium rate. And then, of course, 9CR18 uh, is... 9% chromium. So um, the, it's pretty uh, corrosion resistant stuff. And then it's acid etched. I mean, there are blades where they just, they just uh, take a laser or something and etch lines in to make it look like Damascus. But this is real layered steel. Okay. Um, so, but I mean, you know, you've seen the makers, you know, when they get done, with a Nichols Damascus or something or whatever they're doing that they put it in the acid and they pull it out and it exposes the look, the layers of a Damascus uh, steel. But this is etched. So that's what these knives are. And they're pretty decent sized knives. But the reason I got these two together is because they're both showing up together on this Amazon thing, okay? So Shielden, and it's VG10 blade, 3.6 inch. But this is the this is the Tor Tank. But you can see they got the tranchet on, and I think this is green handle. So as opposed to the red and carbon fiber, 
This is going to be the green and carbon fiber. So both for the Tranchodon and the Tor tank. Okay. So that, and, and you know what? Actually on this Amazon listing, they give you a lot of information. And see, it's $96. But then here, I don't know. I didn't try this. But you might click that box, get the $7, and then go in and apply the coupon code I'm going to give you below for another 20%. This thing might be upper 60s, lower 70s by the time you get done. I'm a Prime member, so I'm going to get free shipping as well. So that kind of thing. And, you know, uh, right on the Amazon site, then they give you some additional information, you know, ceramic bearings, deep carry pocket clip, all this kind of thing as well. So, I mean, you can get all that information there, but I just thought, you might want in on that. I don't know how long that discount code for 20% off will be available. Uh, so I just thought, I'm going to go with this. I'll give you the information on that. They said it's okay to uh, post this, so I'm going to do it. Uh, you, you got ambidextrous thumb studs on this. Well, let's pull this one over here. Uh, they're both good size knives, though. These are both good size knives. Uh, so they're not little gent carry. Oop, didn't get that one all the way kicked out. Hold on. I mean, the fuller middle finger. Okay. Yeah. So really not, you know, not a guillotine drop on this. Although I haven't taken these apart and done anything. This is just the way they, they came out of the box. But centered no blade player lock rock not on that one uh centered no blade player lock rock on this one either fit and finish seems pretty good on these i mean i'm not complaining there's no sharp edges or anything here's your lockup that's close to 40% there. Uh, that's at least 35, maybe close to 40 there as well. And you got to pass through on these. So, and jimping here. So this is not that difficult. You just have to get it disengaged. And of course, the flipper tab hits you in the thumb. It's over the detent ball at that point. Don't hike up too close in here because that's not... Oh, yeah, that is over the detent ball. Is that? Okay, maybe it was this one that didn't seem like it was quite. No, no. Okay, that's over the detent ball too. Well, and, you know, it hits you in the thumb. Um, this one's jimped. This one's jimped. Both flipper tabs. And then there's jimping on the top here. There's your uh, standoffs in there. They're pretty hardy. Um jimping down here as well and of course like i said before on this lock bar ergos are pretty darn good and you you don't have a go forward position like a big finger choil here but you have this little cutaway for sharpening and i got a piece of paper sitting here okay yeah that's that's pretty good actually okay that's pretty good too okay so they did a pretty reasonable job sharpening these. I mean, some factory edges are a little bit sharper than others, but these both seem about equally sharp. Yeah, I like the looks. I mean, I just, I, I go after a knife when, you know, when I see the design that I like. And that's it. I'm, I'm a design buyer. That's the first blush I have is I'm just going to look at it and go, is this design that I like? And I like this design, the Tranchodon, more than I do the Tor Tank. Although I think the Tor Tank is maybe just a little bit longer knife, but this one's kind of chunkier and I like this kind of blade shape here. Well, it's three and three quarter inch blades, so it's no slouch at 96 millimeters. And almost eight and a half overall length at 21 and a half centimeters. Okay, let me see. Is this maybe these are pretty much equal? Um, 
And it's pretty close, isn't it? Three and three quarter, maybe just a skosh longer on this blade than the other. Yeah, and overall, just maybe a sixteenth, no more than an eighth longer, right, than the other one. And, you know, what do you got? 21, uh, 215, 217, 218 uh, millimeters. So, okay, pretty close. This one is actually slightly longer. Oh, by the way, let's throw them on the scales. Uh, they're not that heavy, though. And, of course, they don't have a backspacer on them. So, 4.86 for the big longest one. But this one just seems like it's bigger uh, and taller this way. Yeah, yeah. And it's got more weight, too, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Uh, which is, there's grams, 158 to 137. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely, but, you know, it's not ridiculously heavy. Um, not super light, discreet carry. Oh, let's check this out, too. Speaking of the Damascus blade, 3.4 millimeter, 0.13. Okay. And, yeah, see, see, 0.62, 15.8 millimeters. That's, that's a handful. That's a handful. What do we got here? Wow, still, same about 0.61. Let me see blade stock. Is that going to be 0.34? New thinner, thinner blade stock, three millimeter. Okay, so yeah, there's a difference in the blade stock here as far as the thickness goes. Definitely thicker on the uh Tranchodon than on the Tor tank. Um, but yeah, I, I do like this red, I do like this carbon fiber, and you know what? I think they did a good job. I mean, this feels good now, not terribly grippy. Although this here kind of helps with some traction. And of course, with this jimping on here and here and here. Okay. And, but they're not giving you anything up here. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's pretty reasonable. And the pocket clip, uh, it's deep carry. Right hand tip up. But you know what? That, I'm not feeling it. That's not in the way. That's not a problem. And the ergos are pretty good. Uh, let me try this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bothering me. Pocket clip's not bothering me. And the ergos are pretty darn decent. Now, let's take a look. Well, you know, the design flow is pretty good. It really rolls right into the bolster. And, you know, that's, that's pretty good blade to handle length. Let's... Let's check this out. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's all that needs to be. And that rolls in there, too. So can I feel? Nah, I can't touch the blade there. But, yeah, um, I can't fault these. Um, there was an early one uh, that I got from Shield End that I did not like at all. And I think um, whatever they were using for lock thread lock or something was just too much as well but you know what Nah, they're being way more attentive to their qc so yeah these are way better um these are in there with pretty much anybody i mean you get to a certain level and then it's fairly indistinguishable from other brands in their uh in their price range and you know this one being this kind of steel i think that 9cr damascus on what savivi isn't that running those knives right up to a hundred dollars maybe 105 i keep thinking and i don't think they're giving you this this because that's nice um this Carbon fiber G10 stuff. I like that. Best Tech did some of this, right? Yeah, they did. Um, and I thought that was cool, but it, they did it a couple of years ago. But I've always liked this combination um, 
material like this. This is way cool. It just exposes the layers when they machine it. You know what I'm saying? So it gives it a real individualistic look. And I don't know how they're doing this. Do you? I mean, that's kind of an interesting raised uh, pivot area of that same material. Wild. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the liners feel good. They're okay. It looks like they're skeletonizing their liners. Um, the detent is appropriate. I wouldn't want it any stiffer than that, especially when you've got ambidextrous thumb studs and that middle finger flick is one of your ways to kick it open as well as the thumb. And this one doesn't give you that, but it, it gives you this fuller. And then I don't want I don't want to increase the detent on that either. I think that's I think that's appropriate. And maybe this, maybe you want this more drop shutty, or maybe this kind of gentle hydraulic is okay with you. I don't know. I mean, everybody's kind of got a different deal. I mean, if you just, it shuts, okay? Uh, but it's not going to just follow it around and be super guillotine-ish. You know what I'm saying? So... And maybe by loosening the pivot, you can deal with that as well. So if I'm going to take this apart, I'm not exactly sure if I should come from the front or the back. And am I going to turn both? All righty, Aphrodite. Let's see what we got. Um, I guess I got to attack it, hold it on one side, and separated out on the other okay it's it's coming out and it should have been from the back probably okay yeah it looks like that's where the screw is okay i don't care as long as they give me a way to get in there to stabilize it if they make the pivot non-d-shaped okay that's i mean you know it's up to them however they want to do it, but um, let me see what I've got here. I got number six. Oh, hold on. I got number sixes, but that number six ain't working. This number six is working. I guess I'm going to have to kick that bit out of there and put a different replacement bit in there. Okay. So, should have come from the back, but didn't know. But we do now, and these are coming out, and we got a pocket clip. So let's kick that one out. And so far, so good. No problem taking this apart. And I always like it when a plan comes together and a knife comes apart. And those are equal length, so that's fine. And here's the backside of our material, huh? Interesting. Ooh, it's, yeah, it's got some got some lube on there. Not that I put it there though. Um, I may be a little sloppy with the lube, but I'm not quite like that. Not quite like that. Um, okay, but yeah, you got uh, skeletonized liners. I guess. I mean, you got weight relieving on the liner, and then um, ceramic bearings and. Push this out from the front. Let's see what this is like. Okay, there's those bearings. And there's these bearings. So what do we got? I just got wet lube all over the place. Oh, and there's... Uh, a, okay, and there's washers there. Let me grab my magnet. Oh, baby crap. Okay, that's a strong magnet, by the way. Talk, took me by surprise. Mama. Okay, so we had them on either side, huh? That's a little unusual. Usually the washer will go in here. Although, that's steel, so you don't need it. So technically, do you even need a washer, period? 
but they had them in there and so it must have been for manufacturing tolerances or something so uh we're gonna leave them where they came out of we're gonna put them back in yeah okay uh let's see what we got here so there's this uh pivot surround and yes it's just a round pivot so uh that comes in from the front all right yeah we're good we're good um trench it on i like this design myself a little bit better than i like the tour tank uh kind of keep my eye on shield and knives and you know they're doing things with my buddy max as well ukrainian designer on uh, the calibri here and this is 154 cm they're coming out with some knives in 154 cm so uh interesting this one's a little gent carry type thing so this will also be on the amazon site and several others and they have you know they have other models check them out amazon Ooh, yeah yeah that's a better drop <laughs> that's a better drop than it was when i started okay i'll leave you to it thank you so much for joining me yes we do we love them knives see you guys stay sharp